There are these really awesome optical illusions created entirely by AI, and they've been going viral on social media platforms like Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. The creators of these optical illusions are raking in millions of views, and today I'll be showing you guys how you can create the exact same images. If you're a beginner to AI, do not worry, as this tutorial is going to be extremely easy to follow, so let's get started. Alrighty, let's get started. So the website's gonna be linked down below, but do not click off the video because that there is a caveat, especially to this website right here, which I will explain in this video. It's not going to be a long video. Do not worry. The way this website works is very simple. You just upload the image that you want to distort right here. So I actually just uploaded my logo. And then the next thing you want to do is adjust the illusion strength. The farther right you go, the more difficult it's going to be to process the image. In my experience, doing something around 0.8, which is the default setting, is honestly the best setting to keep it at. Then here is where you're going to add in your prompt. So I'm going to type in underwater ocean landscape with fish. And then in the negative prompt, you just want to type in a whole bunch of negative things that you don't want involved in your image. So let's say I didn't want a shark in my underwater ocean image. Well, I put a comma there and then I would type the word shark. It's really good to add in things like low quality or bad render or any of these buzzwords to just get rid of all the negativeness of your photo. So it's the best possible ability that it can be. Now, if you open up the advanced options, there's a whole bunch of different options here. And if you don't have any experience with AI image generation, I wouldn't even touch any of these settings. But if you do want to adjust the guidance scale, this is basically how much it's going to follow your prompt. I'm going to leave it down below at around like six, and I'm just going to close the advanced options. And now we are going to hit run. But this is the caveat I was talking about, and it states this application is too big busy, keep trying. And that's just because so many people are trying to create images right now on this hugging face space. And what you could do is duplicate the space onto your computer so that you can run it locally and you won't have to worry about this. However, that's a bit more technical to do that. And I know a lot of my audience are beginner learners. So what you can do is just keep spamming the run button and eventually you will get in because there is a queue. You're basically fighting against other people to try and get your image created. And there we go. It took about five or six tries there and we finally got our image to be generated you can see it takes quite a long time using this hugging face space around 200 seconds to create just one generation and that's why i have another website which i'm about to show in just a couple seconds now before i show you the other website where you don't get any errors i do need to talk about today's sponsor vid.io vid is the program i use to actually edit today's video and that's because it's the best online editor on the market if you're an aspiring content creator, Veed makes editing easy with a ton of different AI tools like AI text-to-speech, AI magic cutting, and even subtitling for different languages. It's the perfect editor when you're on the go because you can do it all online and even works if you have a crappy laptop. If you use the link down below, you can get a free trial to test Veed out and see if it works for you. You won't be disappointed. Alrighty, so I'm just going to move my camera here. And as you can see, this is the image we got generated. You really have to close your eyes to even make out my logo in this image. It is very, very tough to tell that it's my logo. So you really just have to play around. But the problem is if it takes 200 seconds to generate and sometimes you get errors, this can be very time consuming, which is why I have another website to show you guys. That website is Art Breeder and it will be linked down below. Unfortunately, this website isn't 100% free. However, you can do, I think like six or seven generations before they want you to make an account. So you can definitely test things out and if you really wanted to bypass it you could probably just go in incognito and it will reset your tokens so it works very similarly where you can upload an image or you can draw something if you choose to do so i'm going to use the exact same prompt as the first website with our image uploaded and we're going to hit generate and here is the image that it generated. It literally took 10 seconds. So about like 200% faster than the other website. I'm just going to open it up. So it's slightly bigger here. I'm going to change my camera. And if you squint your eyes, you can definitely see it says the kingdom on the fish. And then it has our logo here, which is just awesome. So yeah, guys, that's how you create these really cool optical illusions with images. If you like the video, subscribe and see you guys in the next one.